New at 6.30, a new treatment for depression is showing some promising results. For years, people who were, who were resistant to medication for depression were left with little hope. Aras Gadadi talked to a researcher and a patient about the use of ketamine to treat seemingly untreatable depression and anxiety. Amy Gray sits at the counter of Cafe Italiano in Jeanette for breakfast. Now, it might not seem like much, but for Gray, who suffers from treatment-resistant depression, or TRD. I've had this for 35 years. This is pretty big. I leave my house for prescriptions, groceries, and of course cat food. Recently, Gray participated in a University of Pittsburgh groundbreaking study on the impact ketamine has on people like her. Dr. Rebecca Price is leading the study. The primary way that ketamine is offered as a clinical treatment is as an intravenous infusion. Now, ketamine is certainly nothing new. It's an anesthetic. It's been around for years. It was only by chance that it was found to help people suffering from depression, where other drugs failed. So how does it work? Researchers aren't really sure, but they think it has something to do with this. Creating a burst of plasticity in the brain. So the brain um, tends to be impacted by chronic stress, and when you're in a state such as depression, um, you'll see certain patterns in the brain where the brain has kind of um, lost some of its flexibility and plasticity. Ketamine seems to quickly restore that um, within the brain. Ketamine infusions are administered in a carefully controlled environment and the doses are so small doctors say potential addiction is avoided. So more often somebody will just sit and relax, um, have this infusion slowly administered over the about a 40 40 minute period and then stay for an additional hour or two to just make sure they've completely returned to kind of a full awake state. And according to researchers and patients, unlike pharmaceuticals, which can take weeks to work, ketamine's effects seem to be immediate. It was amazing. I'm sitting there going, okay, when's the next trial? As part of the study, Dr. Price also developed a computer-based neurocognitive conditioning program using positive words and pictures of people smiling for those undergoing ketamine treatment. And it's designed to train um, more positive self-regard. So it's going after kind of the low self-esteem and low self-worth that many depressed patients experience. In the hope of potentially extending the effects of ketamine sessions. Now it's important to note that these treatments include multiple infusions several times a week and the impact doesn't last forever. Repeat treatments are needed and it's not cheap. While infusions are still not approved for depression treatment, the FDA did give the okay for an intranasal formulation called esketamine or Spravato. Amy Gray says she only had one treatment during the study and her depression, unfortunately, has returned. She doesn't regret it, though, and says if people with treatment-resistant depression have a chance to try ketamine infusions or an esketamine inhaler... Try it. You, you really need to because... Um... I want people to experience what I ex experienced. Roscadotti, KDKA News.